This is the breathing air tube. Now the tube itself sends air from your air conditioner, we call them, up into the helmet. So can you get these round the wrong way? Can you put it round the wrong way? What happens if I do? Well, on this particular unit, this hose, it says here, attach this end to the helmet. Because inside this hose is a stainless steel mesh and it also has some padding in around the mesh as well. So it does two things. It maintains the temperature that's sent from the air conditioner up into the helmet. So if I put it around the wrong way, what you'll find is you have all this white stuff coming out of your helmet because if you put it around the wrong way, the air starts picking up the padding in behind the stainless steel mesh and start sending it through to you. So it says on here, attach this end to the helmet. They say that for a reason. So don't think I'll be different and turn it around the other way because it says that for a reason. Now also here, we have an air conditioner. Why do I call it an air conditioner? Does it look like an air conditioning unit? Well in essence what it does, it does condition the air for me. So in a hot environment, it says on one side of this, cold. So the cold is sent from the airline into this planetary. The planetary then sends it whichever way the directive is. So in this instance, it's going to the helmet and it says cold because these holes here are large. So it doesn't give the air the opportunity to warm up through a smaller hole. But if you have a look on the other end of this unit, it says hot. So if I take this exhaust port, port off, you'll see that in the end of this, there's a series of small holes. Now as you can see, because this is a blast helmet, it's got remnants of abrasive dust in there. That's why it's important to keep all this stuff clean. Clean it overnight, blow it out if you have to. Give it a rinse, blow it off again, put it back together, reassemble it. So where it says hot, if I was in a cold environment and I was getting a headache because the air was too cold, I can invert this unit and put the exhaust on the bottom and put the hot end on this end of my tube now I've got nice warm air coming into the helmet. There's a big mistake made with these particular units, primarily because people seem to think I need to have that open. Well, it's an exhaust. So what happens is, because it's only a small hole that feeds through from the tapered end of this particular valve end, when you open that, or screw it, and in this case, you're opening it by screwing it counterclockwise. So if you screw it counterclockwise, you're opening it and allowing more air to escape. So before the air can come up to me, whichever end I select, and particularly if you do, you're doing hot, warm air, you can see the holes are bigger, so there'll be more air escape through this exhaust port. If I have that open, of course, we've got a small hole. What's the consequence of that? That'll get warm, small hole, a lot of air passing through it, becomes hotter. So the fatal mistake that people make is, and I say it's a fatal mistake because it's actually quite dangerous. If I attach this to my belt and wrap this around myself like so, a lot of guys have it pointing down, which is the correct way because the helmet will be attached on the top of that. Now, what happens is, as we blast during the course of the day, that'll move around like so. So you're actually pointing something that has the capacity to, to inject air into me at a very sensitive part of your body. If it's exhausting, it's hot. And also too, when you bend down, you run the risk of injecting yourself with air. Is it possible? Absolutely. So the air's not only hot, and if it bumps against my leg, it, I think, ooh, it's hot. Not only that is, you in, run the risk of injecting yourself. Now, I've seen guys put rubber plates on there so that they don't burn themselves. In all honesty, why would I need that to exhaust when I want the air to come through, the air to come through this line here to my helmet? 